Welcome back. We continue our special coverage on Ace Mahashule appearing before the governing party's Integrity Commission tomorrow. He's currently facing 21 charges of corruption, fraud and money laundering. This, of course, is linked to the controversial asbestos project in the Free State. Now, ANC veteran and NEC member Ike Morwe believes Mahashule should be pushed out of the party. Let's find out why. Thanks for your time, sir. We appreciate it. So you reckon Ace Mahashule must be pushed out. Tell us why. Well, I'm not an NEC member. I'm the member of the NK Council, National Council NEC, not the ANC NEC. No, he must really give ANC a break. It cannot be, you know, that uh, he is appearing before the court facing 21 charges. Uh, he doesn't want to stand back or he shows some reluctance to uh, step aside. When there are, you know, uh, other cases that are known, you know, to have uh, subjected themselves to ANC discipline before. I remember the case of uh, Tami China Dudu, who was uh, charged for murder and uh, conspiracy to murder. You know, he was uh, charged, he was told to step aside immediately, he appeared in court. His membership of the ANC was suspended. Uh, he, his position as an MEC, was removed from it, and he was also removed from being the deputy chairperson of the ENC in the Northwest. Uh, he went on and was acquitted. And even after being acquitted, he, his positions were never restored. I don't know with this other fellow, why does he find it so difficult just to be exemplary and do exactly, you know, what other comrades are doing once, you know, uh, they appear before the court. Yeah. Like he is appearing for the court, yes. So you have been uh, quoted as being one of his one-time advisors. So you know him pretty well. You don't trust him. I know him pretty well, but, you know, looking back, I think, you know, he was a caricature of a tin pot dictator. You know, then one would think that he's joking with things that he used to say and do. But looking at, you know, the volume of corruption, that happened, you know, under his watch. It's it's difficult to believe that uh, one was, you know, uh, advising the same person. In any case, he has been on record to say, even though he never, never mentioned my name, that I never gave him one advice. I I think he never wanted to listen to any of my advices. But I think he's just too bad a story for the ENC at this point in time. Yeah. So given your experience with Ace Mahashule and how closely you worked with him back then and what you know now as a member of the ANC, uh, do you think he's dodgy? I think he is dodgy. Let me explain why I think he's dodgy. On, was it Monday or Tuesday, the president read a statement containing the decisions of the NEC. Yesterday he took the same statement read it, you know, to the national uh, media and gave his, uh, his own perspective. But not only that, you know, I was not very involved in ANC politics in the province. But there are legends, you know, uh, stories of how he used to change lists, you know, of uh, people who were supposed to be elected to the PC. All these things are now coming clear. I remember one of the issues uh, that, uh, uh, you know, there was a concern about before the national elections, was that he changed, you know, uh, the list. Well, I think there's something wrong with him. Mm. Ethically, I think there's something wrong with him. So who's protecting Ace Mahashule in the ANC? Because he does have people who are on his side. It is very interesting to see people pro uh, protecting him. I think it is likely that there are people who don't know him quite well, or there are people who are most likely finding themselves, you know, on the other side of the law. You know, you look at uh, the support, the people that he was with at that uh, stage outside the Blue Mountain Court. All of them, you know, have got, in one way or the other, issues that they must answer, you know, to. So I think. He is basically being protected by people who are on the wrong side, you know, of ANC principle, disciplines, constitution, 
and the laws of the country, in a way. Which people? And are they in the top six? Uh, in at the, high, at the court, there was none from the top six. I'm not a member of the NEC or the ENC, so I wouldn't know at that level who's protecting him. But I know for a fact that he has hollowed out the ENC, you know, in the province. I know for a fact that uh, the majority of people who support him in branches are people who don't know the ENC from a bar of soap, who cannot even quote you, you know, one simple principle of the ENC. Those are the people who protect him. Those are the people who join the ENC for his sake, because apparently they are getting something out of being members of the ENC, you know, uh, through supporting him. Yeah. One last question before I let you go. Of course, uh, Mahashulia is appearing before the Integrity Commission tomorrow. Do you reckon he will, after this, perhaps step aside pending this criminal case or not, given the character you have spoken about now? I am not sure, you know, what he would be appearing before the commission for. Because there are two things here, you know, that are of concern. One is that if he's going to appear to explain, you know, his case, that is not the right place because that would be sub care. He must go and explain himself before the courts. If he uh, is appearing, you know, to explain or give his understanding of uh, the 54th resolution, 54th conference resolution on corruption, then it's a problem because that resolution uh, was discussed, you know, thoroughly uh, for two days, in fact, in the last uh, NEC, as the president, you know, uh, pointed out. So I I'm not even sure why he's appearing before the commission. Well, he also is also said to, you know, be volunteering to appear before the commission. I don't believe he's volunteering. I believe he was summoned, uh, summoned at some stage to appear, and he gave, you know, uh, excuses why he cannot appear. He is just buying time, you know. He's buying time for some reason. But all in all, I think the Integrity Commission has been thrown, you know, a careful to say that uh, he must appear before it. But because anything that needs to be said, anything that needs to be done, has been said and done. The only thing that in my mind has to happen is that he must step aside and give ANC, you know, space to breathe and give himself enough time, you know, to start uh, working on those 21 charges that he's facing. Uh, very quickly, before I let you go, would you say the ANC would be a better organization without Ace Mahashule? Certainly. I don't have any doubt about that. Much, much better organization without him. Because I'm definitely sure that without him, without the character that he is, even those people that he has confused who seem to be, you know, supporting him now, you know, would come to know the better side of the ANC the ANC that is committed to saving the people, not individuals. And, and another one, because I have so many questions for you. Uh, do you think the ANC has only acted against Ace Mahashule because the wheels of justice is forcing it to do so, now that we're seeing him in court? Would they have acted if we didn't see him face criminal charges, despite all the allegations that were out there, especially at the Zondo Commission? You see, when allegations are in space, and there is no, you know, concrete evidence which is uh, being, uh, you know, provided. It is difficult for one to be accused. It would even be difficult for the ENC to just, you know, uh, accuse a person because of allegations. But at this point in time, these allegations are not just mere rumor. You know, they are, they are critical, you know, they are, they are backed by hard evidence. And I think it is right that the ENC is looking at him now, you know, and asking him to stand aside now, not before when those allegations were mere rumor. Today they are not rumor, you know, they are definitely, you know, uh, based on hard evidence. Yeah. Thank you so much for your insight, sir. We appreciate it. That was ANC veteran Ike Morwe.